The age of automation is alive and clicking, and each factory is testament to the fecundity of machined miracles. But somewhere along the line, man still asserts his individuality, for the spirit of adventure lingers. Adventure, it lurks in all of us, especially the young, though an automated world may suppress it. So how can the boy at the factory bench or the girl at an office desk relieve the sometimes stifling monotony of routine? One answer to the problem is outward bound. Six special schools in Britain and over 20 more around the world are giving young people a taste of adventure and a means of developing initiative, self-confidence and responsibility. At the Outward Bound School near Ashburton on Dartmoor, the new boy's welcome is the prelude to an arduous 26-day course. All industrial training boards in Britain are sponsoring youngsters for courses at the schools, as are firms, local authorities and private individuals. The training is tough, like learning to canoe roll in the school swimming pool. Safety is the watchword here, and pool training proves useful when it comes to navigating the rain-swollen rapids of the River Dart. Whatever the activity, the youngsters are carefully coached by instructors and spot checks by the school's warden keeps him in touch with the patrols into which each course is divided. Teamwork is vitally important and the novices learn to help each other through unfamiliar activities like surf canoeing. Adventure inevitably entails hazards, so emergencies are catered for. Mock rescue operations also give the boys a chance to turn themselves into a team. One operation complete, but there's always something else going on around Dartmoor to keep the warden on the move. Day-to-day -day routine of office and factory is a world away, and each new adventure an untried challenge. But the boys soon get to know the ropes. Knowing the ropes at Outward Bound means just that, for they play a vital role in many of the hazardous exercises. Ropes for mountaineering and sailing, for life-saving and for fitness training. Instruction at the foot of a Dartmoor tour is an indispensable preliminary to more exacting manoeuvres. There's always a part of the course that's unnerving for some. Potholing presents its physical problems, but a fear of the unknown must be conquered too, when you're crawling about almost blindly in the darkness of subterranean corridors. Perhaps the most challenging ingredient of any adventure is the unexpected. Here they thrive on it, and even have their own inimitable way of washing mud spattered overalls when they arrive back at the river Dart. Sent over the chasm at Berry Head on the holiday coast at Brixham is no less spectacular if rather more delicately attempted.
Effecting a rescue can be as perilous as mountaineering, but safety first is a strict rule. Rules are strict here, yet the motives are far deeper than just tuning up muscles on a commando course. By surmounting difficulties and overcoming fear, the youngsters are learning to face up to those more mundane problems of everyday life. Like all good schools, Outward Bound has a sturdy school motto, to serve, to strive, and not to yield. The strong arm stuff gives adequate evidence of the striving, and the Ashburton Village Fate provides one opportunity for a bit of service. Running the races and the sideshows allows the boys to prove their talents at the more mercenary task of raising money. For charity, of course. It makes a break to watch someone else exerting themselves, and as they say, it's all in a good cause. But the relaxation is short-lived, because Dartmoor sprawls all around, and that's sufficient excuse to organize those more usual activities, hiking and camping. But they add their own twists to even these hardy chestnuts. A 24-hour camping solo, alone on the moors, is an exercise in what they call self-reliance. Hiking is no weak-kneed weekend ramble. The boys are dumped 70 miles from the school and given three days to find their way back. But believe it or not, this isn't solely a man's world. Not anymore, anyway. Sexual equality has reached outward bound. Girls have their own school, and mixed courses, too, are starting. The uniting of the sexes is only part of the image changing. Special city challenge courses have begun to give youngsters insight into some of the more neglected facets of big city life like working in hospital geriatric wards and mental homes. Outward Bound is keeping up with the times. <laughs>